Hey everybody, D here at Daily Gaming, back with more Monster Hunter World Iceborne. And I'm not sure what I'm doing in this episode. I recorded a lot of footage, been doing a lot of editing and rendering all of it, and I mentioned before, I do it all on my PlayStation. So pretty much while I'm doing that, I can't do anything else. So I've been doing all that, and just kind of... I've actually kind of forgotten what I did last. I think it was uh, the... Uh, Oh, it's the Grimlikins in the Coral Highlands. So we got back. I think I was going to take one Legiana next. Um, let's do a quick run around town. A lot of people want to talk to us. Good to see you. Good luck. Oh, he gave us a quest. Capture a, a Palumu. Uh, what do you have to say? More than likely, th these all should mostly be quests. Hello. Or side options. Or optional quests. Botanical research. Deliver coral bone. We can do that real quick. We already have that. Oh, that's Pookie. This is why I said, I think I said in a previous mission or episode where he can get annoying, and that's why. <laughs> Hello. Because he gets right up in your face and you can't. Uh, oh, my God, Bounty's turning still. Right up in your face and you can't access people you want to talk to. I got a lot of Bounty's turning. Holy cow. Coral Highlands. Let's go ahead and select the investigations. So I think I might do some grinding off camera. Go ahead and knock those out. Check out uh, investigations. Yeah, we're still good. Complete deliveries. Uh, new fertilizer. The catalyst. I think the catalyst increases what are the effects of the fertilizer. Oh, I can't even look at it. So yeah, I'm pretty sure the catalyst increases the effects of the fertilizer. It's like a blank, like you can double down on fertilizers to increase their effect. Or, you, or if you have multiple things going with multiple different types of fertilizers, you can use the catalyst to, it's like a, like a blanket, it just covers all of them uh, and gives a boost to everything. I can't remember if it boosts how much you get. I think it just boosts the duration of how, of, of the, uh, yeah, the, the, the duration. Um, somebody at the workshop needs to talk to us, I think. No, oh, the armor. Or in likely it's nothing. Oh, a specialized tool. <clears throat> right. Five or Phenos. That's easy to do. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think that's it. So we might take care... Let's... I can't remember what side missions we have. So we might actually start off with some side missions, get back into the flow of things, and then take on the Legiana. You capture Palumu. Which I don't think it gets us anything besides research points. Uh, Azizi for science. I don't think that actually gives you anything. I think it's just a random, like, hey, just go hunt it. Uh, persistent pests. And lots of botanical research slot. That's pretty big. And this is some new gadget. I can't remember which one. Another option mission for hunting a Gyros. Uh, let's do this persistent pests. Let's see what that gets. That's pretty easy. Won't take long to do. 14 Horncher. In the Rotten Vale. We don't even need to worry about doing anything. No meals or nothing for this. So I've been playing uh, a lot of Elden Ring and I'm getting my button, my inputs uh, confused. I keep trying to hold circle to sprint, then trying to use triangle to interact with things. But then as soon as I play Elden Ring, I'll press X to interact with everything, and I'll never use Circle to Sprint. I'll always use L3. Alright, that's it. So I'll see you out there. Alright, so this quest is pretty easy and pretty quick. Uh, from the first camp, you just want to go right. Oh wait, actually, you can get some down here, so you want to go left. I killed the bird. Didn't mean to do that. Are there any down 
here. Nope, oh, just trying to go up there to attack me. Why did you creep my weapon away? I hit attack. I need to deactivate that. And there's like an auto sheath feature, and I do not like it. Like, you do not decide when I put my weapon away. I decide when I put it away. For better or worse. So if you actually want to harvest these guys, uh, I do suggest you get the botanist uh, armor set. Uh, because this there is a new armor set unlocked with this. Or, I'm sorry. There is the Hornitor set. So if you want to get that set, this is a great time to work on it. Because obviously you need to kill 14 of them. So if you want it... You need that set to make it easier to get them. And the Hornisher is specifically the bugs that crawl, not these uh, flying ones. Uh, I can't remember what the flying ones are called. But after that, I'm just going to keep going north. And I'm pretty sure they despawn all large monsters. It's just endemic life. I don't think there's anything else here. So if you want to try and, and uh, make, make the mission a little bit more worthwhile by hunting something, unfortunately, I don't think you can. And I went to the wrong one. Whoops. I did need this one down here. Now, is this is where the Vespoids were? Yeah, so I need to go this way. Yeah, all these pathways look the same. And so many of them go down, then up, then down, and up. So I constantly get confused on which way is which. <coughs> But we're already halfway done, done, and this little spot right here should top us off. No reason at all to charge my weapon, but, you know, I can, so why not? There's more of you. Where are you at? There you are. Because I heard you walking around. Done. Uh, one reason you might want to go out of your way to harvest these guys is that monster fluid. I think that is used for a specific recipe. So, I, I want to say something for like dash juice, maybe? So, it, it so it's something you can't just uh, you know farm. You have to. Well, I mean you can farm these guys, but it's something you can't get from your farm. You have to actually uh, come out and find it. Uh, so it's kind of like the Kelby horn. It ha it is used, but it's not easy to get. Excuse me, it's not easy to get. So you might want to go out of your way to get it. But all right, well that's gonna be sweet. A short, nice little short episode to get slowly work, work our way back in. Like I said, we have a couple other side option missions, so we'll do those and clear them all out before we move on. So we'll hang out just to see what the reward is, and then we'll head on back to Ostero. Come on, a little faster. Yep, you can now cultivate more items. So now we can cultivate two items at a time. Pretty freaking nice. Oh, for complete that mission, they want to talk to us. So, <clears throat> excuse me, dang. Uh, so we'll see what the chief botanist has to say. Yeah, a little cutscene here. Shows that it grew. And honestly, I like when you see it, you're like, oh yeah, wow, change. But honestly, I could, I could not tell you what, what it looked awesomest. like before. This is where he's a presumptuous prick and tells you, oh, I could explain it to you, but I don't think you'd understand because you're stupid. Uh, more Thunderbugs. This is where your production really starts picking up. Just adding in one more slot literally doubles your production. <laughs> so, as long as you're going for the same item, and that's what I always do. I always double down and use and go and cultivate the same item across the board. Uh... 
because then I get you have to use less fertilizer, so you save points. Whereas if you're doing multiple different items in multiple different branches or categories, you have to use multiple different fertilizers. Uh, it's hard. It's harder to keep them all up, and you just blow through your points. I just do one type at a time, and then I just double down. So as you can see, because before I was only getting eight permission, now I'm going to be getting 16 permission, and that's going to be for the next five missions. And since we're here, let's go ahead and look at that catalyst. Uh, speeds up cultivation. Oh, speeds up. So this one is very useful for certain items. Uh, now my the thunderbugs, it, you get you cultivate them per mission, so you, this is useless. But if you go to uh, the, the nullberry, this is uh, it takes two missions before you can gather or uh, collect your resources. So the the catalyst takes out one mission. So the nullberry would and the mite seed and adamant seed that would go from two missions to one mission. And then there are some like dragon dragonfell berry. It takes three. Later in the game, I think you can get like a super catalyst, and it'll take it down. It takes off two missions, so you can use that for this. Uh, I think three is the max. Every, it's three, two, and one. That's it. I'm pretty sure there's no four or five mission items. But uh, yeah, so don't even need to worry about it. Just let it go. But yeah, there we go. The uh, farm was upgraded. A very, very useful item.